Good morning. It has now been a week since I started using the new Bacuccio cream. So it's been one week since I started using the Dr. Bell Mirsica eye cream. And... So two weeks ago, I started a new skincare regimen where I replaced my Farmer X eye cream with the Dr. Balmer Advanced Sitka eye cream. And also I replaced my moisturizer with the Farmer X Bacuccio cream both day and night. Now, two weeks later, I'm ready to show you my findings. I am doing both of them at the same time for time efficiency. So let's first start off with the eye cream. So the eye cream, as I explained in the original video, it, it's a beautiful product. It, it's thicker, I think, than what, what I'm normally used to. And upon using it for two weeks, I did notice that the skin does appear cushier for the main thing. Now, is it actually firmer? maybe a teeny tiny little bit like right on the eye lid area but i mean also the fact that it's only been two weeks a lot of the times it does take more time for things to show especially on my face so whether or not i would continue to use this i would i think that you know, i still got the lines there going on here but overall it does feel super duper moisturized now i am still really tired mom of two here not getting enough sleep i still got my eye bags which is fine i mean it's it is what it is i really did enjoy how well it absorbed in it was really easy to wear underneath makeup and everything it didn't affect that at all like i said i do feel that the skin feels a little bit cush cushier so i think in time it's going to be even better so i want to keep using this one what i might end up doing because i do have my bakuchio eye cream that has been open what i might end up doing is using one during the day and one at night we'll play around with it a little bit but thank you avon for sending me a full-size dr Balmer eye cream i really did appreciate it, so thank you avon for that it's once i finish this one up i can open this so another perk of being an avon beauty boss if you want to learn more about the process about becoming a beauty boss in avon canada make sure you do jump over to my other channel passions to paycheck with jessica yick or you can find me on facebook and we can book a free 15 minute consultation to see whether or not it is the right fit for you so this eye cream i did really like here i want to just move you over to some natural lighting i do think that some of the fine lines under here they're just not as apparent but a lot of the times that has to do with dryness i do feel that this one might be slightly more moisturized than the Bacuccio eye cream but sometimes just switching things up also makes a difference with your skincare products because I think I think it's kind of like a workout sometimes you gotta switch it up to get some different results and then go back so you can alternate I do that with my mascara overall really do enjoy it really do like it my eyebrows are a little bit crazy at the moment in time the other thing I really did love about the Dr. Belmer eye cream is the fact that I it says it's okay to put on the eyelids so then I did it without feeling guilty at all now let's talk about the Bacuccio cream the Bacuccio cream, oh my gosh. The Bacuccio cream, I really love it. It's only been two weeks, and I honestly feel that the lines here have diminished. Like, especially on this side, look at that. It feels like it has gotten better, like, just to the naked eye. I actually started seeing a bit of results within a few days of it just lessening up a little bit. Overall, I really love how creamy moisturizing yumalicious this particular product is it feels so good on my face the only thing i did notice that might be a bit of a con is that under my nose i feel that it's gotten a little bit more chapped it could be because that is the beginning of allergy season and this might not be as soothing as one of my other creams so what i have been doing I have been using the Dr. Belmer Advanced Sitka Recovery Cream just underneath my nose right here. And it came with the trial kit. So, I mean, if you want to give it a try, give it a try. I find that this instantly gives me relief. It, it, it didn't sting before the first time around I used it. But this yesterday when I used it, it did sting a little bit. It could be because it's like pretty chapped right now. So that's the only thing that I did notice. It could, like I say, it could be just because this is a retinal alternative. So it's not quite as soothing on your skin as a, um, as let's say the Sika product here. Although I still really like this. Like my face 
feel so hydrated. The first night after I woke up using it, I woke up the next morning. I was like, oh wow, my skin still feels so nice and dewy. Overall, I feel like my skin does feel plumper, right? And then also here, I don't know, it could be a figmentation of my imagination, but it does feel a little bit lighter. These are some acne um, acne hyperpigmentations that I've had, and the Bakucho, I believe, is supposed to overall, in time, is going to help to lighten it. Now, I have been using it with my Bakuchio cream, and so if you do notice, there are a couple of little red dots on my face. Could be one of two things. Could be that I'm getting closer to my periods, and so therefore my hormones are starting to go a little wonky, which is normal. Or it could be the fact that the double dose of Bakuchio might just be a little bit too exciting for my face, and I might have to just kind of give my skin a little bit more time to get used to it, but I do love how it feels. I have this like beautiful dewiness to my face constantly, which makeup still applies really well to. It like the, the even when I use the powders, it's not like caking up or anything. So I really, really like this. Because we're starting to get into warmer temperatures, not quite yet, it's still the beginning of very early spring. I'm still going to use this day and night for the next little while, but during the summer, I probably wouldn't use this one during the day. It might feel a little bit too heavy. I would go back to something that's more, a little bit lighter, either the Farmer X cooling gel or maybe one of the Belief products for the daytime. But this would make, this makes a really gorgeous, beautiful, plumpalicious night product for sure, even during the summer, because I think that it's just going to give my skin that much needed hydration and just overall cushiness. Because who doesn't love some cushiness? I love me some cushiness. For the actual lines itself, if you look at my forehead here, you can still see the lines. Now, are they as apparent? They definitely look less dry. I have to say this is probably one of my most moisturizing face care products that I have used since um, the solo use of Mission Lux Rev, and I love it. So this paired with the Bakuchio Serum, wow, my skin, I can't believe I'm saying this, I mean, my skin feels as silky and soft as it does when I use my Mission Lux Rev for those who don't know what Mission Lux Rev is, Mission Lux Rev is like a $400 face cream. It's our luxury skincare line, and it is a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, this smells incredible. And the, the, the skincare technology behind the two products are very different. Go read, do some more research and read up which one you would probably prefer, depending on what you're looking for, right? I mean, this is still a, oh, it's such a nice treat to use. I feel so mm, 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 when I use it. So I, I, I still really love this product, but for a more affordable option for how my skin feels, feels after using it, definitely the Farm RX uh, Bikuchio Cream with the serum is fantastic. Well, I'm still going to use it for the next foreseeable future. It might even end up I finish using this before the summer even comes because we still have quite a few months, like we still have a few months until summer gets here. If you're interested in learning more about these products, you can definitely just go to the link in the description box below and learn more about this Dr. Bilmer Advanced uh, Sika eye cream or about the entire Farm RX collection. Lots of great information there. If you have any further questions, make sure you leave a comment or you can also uh, send me a message over on Facebook. We have a wonderful beauty community that is growing come and hang out with us there. Now, remember, I am not a skincare expert. I am not an ingredients expert. I just know what I like and I know what I know. And I love trying out new products. So this is my personal opinion of these two items. Whether or not you're going to like them, try and find out. All right, guys, I love you. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notifications. I have at least one new video up every single week plus a live stream on Friday nights. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!